bigleapolitics.com. <laughs> As you can see, this is a little bit of buffoonery, but that's what it says. It says, workers in Wisconsin wear, quote, I got chipped. Beast mode. You know, if it's that a t-shirt, it's, it's, it's official, folks. Right. It's official. T-shirts, yeah. you've got a t-shirt with it, guess what? It's official. You know what I mean? But check out this little small detail, though. This is... We reported on this about a year or so ago, right? This company, Three Square, yeah. they make vending machines. The employees for this company have been microchips, you know, to make it so-called more convenient. But check out the, the little detail in this. And yes. I didn't even see it back then. It says, since debuting the microchips in 2017, Three Square Market has vastly expanded their plans with the technology hoping to convince larger firms to adopt microchips. Now think about it, and I'm going to read what they say here, but I, I don't know how this escaped me when we first went into this a, a year or so ago. They make vending machines. This isn't just about um, the employees of Three Square Market so they can gain access to their office okay. to sell vending machines to places. The actual vending machines themselves have the technology where if you have a chip, you can wave your hand in front of the machine Already. instead of dealing with a credit card right? Now, with that in mind, check this out. It says, we've been in touch with NASCAR, with baseball stadiums. Three Square Market President Todd Westby told KSTP, quote, we've gotten in doors that we would have never gotten in before. They are looking into drastically expanding the technology, talking about the chip, and making it standardized, showing how it can already be used to open doors, buy food items from vending machines at stadiums, and turn on computer portals. We're already and here. We're it. already, the infrastructure is in place for the B system. And believe it or not, believe it or not, I'm telling you, we're, we're so, you know, we're so, we're in the spirit of introvert right now and so self-centered to the degree in which we don't even recognize the chip is being used right in front of us. It could be someone in the in the next line right next to you at a Walmart or at a supermarket because they just moved their hand over it. You thought it was a car. They're, they're already using it. They're using it already. If you see that little... Check out, check, yeah, yeah. Go, go what ahead. You're saying is true because check out what they're they're using it already. Yeah. It says... It says they hope to introduce the idea to the masses in the form of bracelets containing micro, microchips in order to get the masses used to having microchips implanted in their skin down the line. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm going to tell you right now, our focus, we're spreading the gospel. You know what I mean? Being at peace with all men. I'm going to tell you this mm -hmm. right now. Uh, this coming Passover, when it comes to the uh, the waving of the sheaves, uh, you know, and all that during the Passover time, I'm going to make sure I have my little area where I'm doing all my planning for garden so that we can actually be the example to show other brothers and sisters throughout the congregation. So throughout the earth, it's easy to grow your own food and we, we're going to harvest it the same time the Bible says harvest it to show an example towards the wilderness. And we're going to have our, and through those gardens, we save our seeds and have our own heirloom seeds. Mm. Through vacuum packs, we'll take those seeds and we'll make sure we vacuum them because we will need those seeds, folks. Mm. It's, it's about putting things, doing, doing at least the, the least what we can control. Some people are like, what can we do? Listen, if you don't start preparing yourself now, you're going to die in the wilderness anyway. You don't know how to live outside of going to the store. Right. Ha having the animals already. Ain't nobody putting no, no things on the shelves for you to eat in the, in the wilderness. On the land. Mm. So the kingdom is within us. And we have to begin to start practicing kind what, what yeah. it means to live without mm -hmm. retail. Without mm. commerce. We're going back. Okay, we're going back, folks, to the earth. And see, it's about putting these things into practice, spreading the gospel, and music will give us this access to let everyone know th these are the things we're doing already. You can apply this yourself. 
Spread the gospel. If you're sitting, stop. Be baptized. Meet us here. We're out <laughs> like Vladimir. <laughs> okay? We're going to drop those jewels from all over the earth. Then the end shall come. The question, the question remains, are you ready? And the answer should be yes. It's what you can do today. Not worrying, not worrying about tomorrow. What you can do the day. Oh, the wall. Oh, the chip. Oh, they're going to take guns. Oh, oh my God. What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Guess what, folks? It's going to be throughout the four corners of the earth. The one world order system. Everything we're talking about will not stop at America. Okay? America just will be one of the first dominoes to fall. This, what are we doing to prepare ourselves for the end game? Okay. And the end game is the kingdom of heaven. See? Are you seeking to strengthen your biblical foundation? Join us in the Hebrew Bible Academy, where we offer 12 weeks of in-depth learning in a structured environment. Receive real-time news from Brother Shapat and amazing lessons by Elder Ricard. Learn ancient Hebrew with Elder Lawyer. With 12 amazing lessons, you're guaranteed to learn more about your true biblical history and authentic Hebrew language than you would in a traditional Christian church. For only a one-time payment of $150 or three monthly payments of $50. Join us at HistoryTimes.org and sign up today. It's not too late. See you in the Academy.